there were these guys who got lost at sea, okay? Um, and for some people, that might be your worst nightmare. For these guys, though, they're like, it's kind of awesome, actually, okay? So it was two men who were lost at sea for a month, for a month. They were gone for a month, okay? Drifting in sea, in the sea, like no one knows where they're at, but they got rescued. So let me give you the details on how they survived, how they got rescued, and what they thought about the whole experience. Lost at sea for 29 days, two Solomon Islanders survived on coconuts, oranges, and prayers before being rescued 250 miles away off the coast of Papua, Papua New Guinea. Now, the two men were traveling between islands in the notoriously unpredictable Solomon Sea. It's notorious, it's everyone knows. When their seven meter or 20, uh, 23 feet boat got caught in rough weather a few hours into their journey on September 3rd, okay? Now, uh, they were pushed farther uh, out to sea and their GPS died. And so one of them said, after several days, because we prayed, God gave us this thought of constructing a device to sail. So we constructed a mast like structure using paddles and canvas and set sail following the direction of the wind, okay? Now, eventually they crossed paths with a fisherman. And uh, the fishermen save them, they're okay. Uh, but the best part about this story, this is the part that matters. They were asked about the whole experience and here's what they said. I had no idea what was going on while I was out there. I didn't hear about COVID or anything else. I look forward to going back home, but I guess it was a nice break from everything. <laughs> I get it, I get it. The dudes were like, I just, it's nice to not be on Twitter. <laughs> it's nice to not be around people and mm -hmm. and opinions and like which is an ironic thing for me to say because opinions happen to be a huge part of my job. Yeah. But I think the fact that it's a big part of my job is what makes me like dream of a scenario where I'm kind of isolated from the world for at mm -hmm. least a month. What is the longest we can return to specifically this, but what's the longest you've been cut off from the world in the time that you can remember? A couple days? Never. Never. When? When would that happen? So Maybe okay. Maybe uh, 12 hours when I was on an hours. international flight. Yeah. But that's yeah. it. And they, a lot of those have internet now. And yeah. TV and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, I was cut off for 15 to 18 days. Oh, that's right. That was the longest single time that I was on a boat outside. That We had internet for. I don't know if it was like 10 minutes a day, but it was only it would you could you could use it to download text emails. Uh -huh. So like I would email my wife every mm -hmm. couple of days or something like that. But that was it. I wasn't getting any news. I had no idea what was going on. Trump had just been elected. There was all the the fire and fury stuff with North Korea. And so we were out there thinking like there could be a nuclear war going on and we wouldn't know for weeks. Nice. It was nice. <laughs> but I was on you know, a, a bigger boat, like it was a sealing vessel that had been turned into a scientific thing. You said it's nice to not be near people, but the thing is, in this, you are next to one person. Yeah, and for you're 28 captive. days. Yeah, what do you think about that? It sounds pretty awful, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's say you can do this. You know you'll survive. Yeah. You get to get away, you're on a boat, you've got coconuts, you got oranges, you got prayer, you're living on that prayer. Where, where did they get the coconuts from? Maybe they brought it on the boat. Really, they brought 29 days worth of oranges and coconuts? Maybe they were delivering oranges and There's coconuts to another island. Story. Maybe they're, uh, coconuts can float, I think. So would you do it? Off, like you're in the middle of the sea and all of a sudden you find coconuts? Like they're fishing they're coconuts? They're praying the whole time. That's right, that's right, duh. I don't know, duh. they did live. I'm not making it up that they lived. You told me the story, I didn't bring this. Anyway, would you do it? Wait, sorry, say it again, I got distracted You with the can coconuts. go on this trip, you get mm -hmm. on a boat, you go out 28 days, you'll survive, you're not gonna die. Mm -hmm. You're disconnected, you get to you know not have to work and everything. Would you go? Do I get to pick the one person I go with? Let's say first, no. Random human drawn from seven plus billion people. No, I would not do it. You no. probably don't even speak the same language. It'd be easy. Okay, so what if you can pick? Do you know how awkward that would be? You're on a boat mm -hmm. for 29 days, yeah. meaning that you're human for 29 days in a small area 
with yeah. like a stranger, right? That's like true. it's awkward. No, I would not do that. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.